Okay, viewers, what we've got here is a, a dangerous statue. But I've got a pound ready. I want you to watch closely what happens when you put some money in the box. Something quite bad happens, actually. Prepare your anuses, viewers. Ready? See, I warned you, viewers. Anyone else got any coins to get them started again? Anyone? Come on, come on, some taker. Anyone who's got a coin? You got a coin? I've, I've, got, I've done my last coin. Who's got a coin? Come on, who's got a coin? Have you got a coin, madam? You, have you got a coin for him? Anyone? Uh, even a penny? The madam's got, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go on, go on. Just be careful, it's dangerous. Just be careful. Wait, watch, watch this. When the coin hits the bag, just watch it. Careful. Come on, madam. My viewers can't, can't hold on this. Oh, oh, she's wait, she's chickened out. Wait. Anything, any, any coins. The more, the better. <laughs> Good morning, viewers. We're looking up Berry New Road. And uh, have you been stuck behind a temporary traffic light? Are you uh, getting bothered by never-ending roadworks? Well, remember, it's February, March time. All the councils have got to use that budget to make sure they get the same budget, but that's not why I started filming. The reason I started filming was to capture the biggest pile I was gonna say shit, but it's quite clearly fresh, wet, earth. They're building a development called Waterfront. Um, I think the river's about half a mile away, but there you go. So here's some other developments that they're doing, and the one that tickled me. Imagine me as a YouTuber filming in 4K if I lived in the high definition building. That would just be incredible. <laughs> Who in my viewership remembers Scary Man? The original Scary Man the skinny guy going around <laughs> touching ladies, jumping out of, from behind the corner to scare the ladies and uh, got arrested by two female officers, which I thought was very cool. How's it going? Oh my God, look at these guys with good taste. <laughs> Skank. This is the back of Cheatham School of Music. Cheatham School of Music, it's about 600 years old. Guess who's back, or for the print works, guess who's late? They were meant to release the biggest LED ceiling outside of Vegas on the 16th of March, and today is the 18th of March. And, uh, And uh, what? And what, Charlie? Say something clever, or just cut. Well, viewers, this is the exact spot uh, with the hello, mate. The 10-second clip where the guy Charlie. came. Hello, mate. Hey, Declan, you okay? So the guy came to snap my jaw. I said, no, you won't, and the rest is history. So, surprise, surprise, we approach the most dangerous McDonald's in the Western Hemisphere, and uh, there's some uh, black-clad police personnel outside. They work with handcuffs. I work with a photon sensor. The end result should be the same, but it's not. And actually, that, that gets me going. I've got a rant in me about cycling Mikey. That, there's something about that guy that winds me up. I need to get my rant out. Cups. Ah. So, there's a YouTuber called Cycling Mikey. He's big on Twitter. If you don't know who he is, his uh, father was killed by a drunk driver in Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, back in the day. He seems to be about the same age as me, in his 40s and uh, he's taken it upon himself to capture on video to give to the police and the courts evidence of uh, human, of people in their cars in London stuck in traffic, stuck at a traffic light and they check their mobile phone, they send a text message, they do a quick phone call. We all do it. We, we, all, we all do it, we're, we're all guilty. We all check our phones in traffic, yet cycling Mikey. Where's my, where's my police background? Anyway, he, he captures them and it's, it's a victimless crime. Yes, we should all pay full attention 
You should never check your phone when you're on the motorway, you're overtaking on a country road. Don't check your phone. But when you're literally stuck in traffic, I don't think there's a victim of that crime. And Cycling Mikey goes, yeah, my, my dad got killed by a drunk driver in, in uh, Rhodesia back in the day. So I'm now going to become some sort of Gestapo agent and get a whole bunch of Londoners done by the police for checking their mobile phone in traffic. I'm sorry, Cycling Mikey. Those of us who uh, do a similar sort of thing without getting innocent people in shit with the police, I know what your uh, motivations really are. Now, 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 imagine wasting your time ranting about... Come on, can I get a sniff, please? Can I get a sniff? Come on, doggy. Come on. Come on, how, do, how does... Wait. What's it looking for? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, whatever the dog is looking for, he did not find it on me. So uh, let's speak, let's go see the, there's a gentleman being spoken to, looks quite uh, tame. But if we come round here, go on doggy, have a sniff, go on. Hello guys, you alright? Alright. So uh, there's a, the dog's very cute, very friendly, but there's a gentleman being spoken to by three officers. Wait, immigration enforcement, there's a new one. Is nature healing? Is immigration doing their job? Good morning, guys. You're okay. Good morning to see you No, no, no. I'm not, uh, not important to them. Just a YouTuber. He asked me if... YouTuber. Yeah. Right, get me in that video. Go on, then. Come here. Come do me an intro. Go on. What's yeah. going on? What's going on in Manchester? Obviously, Manchester is a very bad city. Yeah? A bad city? Yes. Too many stabbings. Too oh, many I agree. It's a bit too, stabby, yeah, isn't yeah. it? It's too, a bit stabby. Too much stabby. Too much stabby. Yeah. And uh, I don't recommend you should come down here because... It's very dangerous. It is, Thank but but can I just say, you're saying it's really dangerous, but yes. I couldn't help notice you've brought your very cute son with you, so how oh. dangerous is it really? Very dangerous. To the point that you bring your little kid here? Yes, because, uh, like, uh, you know, people don't really get to children like that, you know what I mean? It's true, it's like adults, uh, it's teenagers it's attacking teenager, each other. Like, attacking each other and stuff like that. The colleges, yeah. the schools, in schools there's too many... Uh, crimes happening in schools. In the schools? In the like schools. what kind of crimes in the schools? Stabbing. In the schools? In the schools. Man. And it's very, very, very bad. Yeah. And it's just a bad city, innit? And uh, where are you from? Are you from Manchester? Where are you uh, from? I'm from Manchester, yes. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll use this hand, but right. thank you for your opinions. Thank Appreciate you it. Much. And also, if you want to watch it later on the Charlie Veach channel. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, man. All the best. Can you put it in where any time? I will. Let me just get a few more shots here and then I'll... I'll in fact, I can do both. Look at this. I can use this with one hand, and I'll put it in with my other hand. Look at this. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm the white star. That's me. Please, please hit subscribe. I will. Thanks, mate. All the best. See ya. Hey, immigration enforcement. How you doing? Good. Good to see you out on the streets. I think we need a bit of the enforcement of the immigrants. Ah, oh, don't go sniffer doggering the the nice Oriental students. They're not gonna cause us any trouble. Imagine the headlines. Last night, following a religious festival in Chinatown, 17 Chinese youths arrested for a fray. <laughs> G G grievous bodily. No, you just you just don't see young Chinese guys rioting. Why is that? Um, <laughs> There's some nice te stereotypical answers to give there. They're too busy. Um, they're too busy um, doing high-level mathematics. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now that he got away with it. He got away with it. Scared the dogs. Love it. <laughs> The police uh, went up to him. Apparently, apparently that. Oh wait, wait! This dog loves this man. The dog's in. The dog's in love with that man's hold all. <laughs> man, if you are carrying, why would you walk towards the big group of fluorescent officers? Why? Why would you do it? Oh, I don't know. He looks. He looks nervous. I feel for him though. Again, following my cycling Mikey rant. 
there are plants in this country which are against the law, and I don't know if they should be against the law. Uh, it's been decriminalized very successfully. And... Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. So where was I? Yeah, the, this plant has been very successfully decriminalized in many North American... Well, there's only three North American countries. In two North American countries and many states within the European Union. So uh, if it is... If it is Mary, as in, as if it is Miss Jane, I feel for the guy. <laughs> but if it's something else, but that was one hell of a doggy, doggy reaction. Anyway, looking at the bigger picture, it is reassuring to see police allegedly, sorry, that's the wrong word to see the police attempting to reclaim Piccadilly Gardens away from the baddies. Oh, there's a, oh, he's got a big, um, oh shit. Yeah, this is it guys, this is it. It's, uh, is it, oh mate, yeah. I think I can guess what's, uh, what's in there. It's a grinder, and it has. We got the money shot, Charlie. It is indeed. <laughs> it's nice to meet an officer who understands the the, the cinematography and the important Absolutely. shots. Yeah, yeah. I would like to uh, condemn this man, but it seems like it's only some herbal Mary Jane. So uh, I yeah, don't know how. I don't think he's a. Uh, I know you guys need to do what you need to do, but... The uh, thing is, we're trying to cut down on all the drug dealing, all the drug taking, and yeah. all the antisocial behaviour in here, so... Oh, no, that makes sense. Sending a bit of a message out to the same. No, of course, of course. One thing I think his uh, lawyer should say in the interview is say, Hey, at least it's not crack. Well, yeah. <laughs> cool, I'll give him some dignity, I'll leave him to it. I feel sorry for uh, our uh, follicularly challenged gentleman here. He didn't have a very large amount of uh, herbs and uh, knowing what I know about the system, he's, uh, there will be a proportionate response. I hope his day isn't too ruined, but my advice is if you're going to a house party and you're ready to party, don't walk past the police with sniffer dogs. Just don't do it. I think he's going to get let go. They're gonna take a photograph of him, confiscate the, the party time, and away he goes, I think. Come on, Laurie, out of my way. There goes uh, Rover, go on, Rover. Rover's got a good keen sense of smell. There's another gentleman here who's uh, being questioned by some officers. We'll... If you didn't hear that, he goes, last time I've asked you, is there anything else in your pockets that you shouldn't have? <sighs> oh wait, there's some undercovers over here. We'll try and cover everything. All right, he's getting searched. <laughs> oh, he also has a uh, Miss uh, Lady Jane in the small plastic bag there. The two undercovers are speaking to him. The two uniformed are speaking to Mr. Cornrow. And... Uh, she's being spoken to by the WPC. Anyway. I know he's, uh, has a special cigarette. <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. This guy here, I don't know what he's got. I hope the image isn't too, uh, overexposed. I'm trying to lower my, uh, trying to make my aperture a bit tighter and squeakier for you guys. Okay, we're on full tightness now. Let's see if I can even, um, let's mess around with some settings. What does this do? Is that any good? Has that worked out? Maybe. Anyway.
So as you can see, as per the badge on the arm, it's Operation Vulcan. Spocky boy. Oh wait, I think someone's getting handcuffed here. So it's nice to see there's some proportionality. He may have had his uh, Lady Mary, surname Jane, cigarette confiscated, but he's uh, not lost his freedom. Whereas this gentleman with the cornrows has. <sighs> it's a good working doggy though. The doggy knows what to do. Doggy's got an idea. My question is, if I went up to people and started sniffing around their groin region, would that be a public order offence? Is it not a public order offence when, without your consent, uh, someone's dog sniffs your groin? I don't know. Is a good doggy. I wonder in the dog's mind how he is it a heat? Yep, he's got bollocks. I wonder in the dog's mind how he understands the game. It's probably just like find the find the toy and get the treat. It's probably as far as the dog's consciousness goes here. Okay, sniff sniff. Sniff sniff. Anyone for a sniff? Anyone for a sniff? Wait, how, how will... Wait. Oh my god. That dog there is exclusively looks for crack. Sorry, just an independent YouTube. Any reason you were carrying a knife? No reason, okay. Self-protection, you feel unsafe or to use against someone? Okay. You don't need to answer my questions, just so you know. You, you don't need to talk to me. But. So, um, uh, with uh, young Thomas here, the police have removed a bladed article from his possession, which is why he's no longer a free man. So, uh, yeah, the, the slightly navy blue jackets, you see, this is immigration enforcement. This is immigration. She seems to be like a chief inspector. And in immigration, look at that, they're going to enforce it. So it's a joint operation, police, immigration. There's some special... I didn't quite catch what one of the officers said to me. There's a, another branch of the police that are here. And uh, some things need to be enforced. Uh-oh, I think the doggies uh, found some smells he likes again. The doggies found some smells he's keen on. What's that NBA shirt? Golden State, what was it? What did it say? Golden State Warriors. Is that a retro N National Basketball Association. All right. So what do my viewers think? Is the dog a, is he a good boy or is he a Gestapo agent? Is this a Stasi hound or is he a good boy? What do the viewers think? I um, my personal view is uh, I don't think the police should focus at all on uh, horticulture. Um, knives, crack, H, hell yeah, but uh, the Jolly Green Giant, eh, I, it might be uh, it might not be the best use of police resources. 
Okay, guys, they're bringing in the transportation, the free taxi ride for Mr. Bladed Article. The, qu the natural question is why? why? Why do young men in a, a European city carry knives? Answers in the comments section. Obviously, it's to be well hard. It's to be the tough toughest, toughest ape in the troop, because that is all we are, hairless apes. And away we go. Anyway, cut. Usually it's uh, back of a van out of Manchester, but maybe they're low on the vans. So I think they're going to need an officer either side so he, he can't lunge at the driver. It, uh, there's a reason why they put them in the back of a van in a cage, so they can't damage themselves or, the, or make the vehicle crash. But here, as you can see, it's going to be a tight squeeze in the back of the Peugeot. Maybe even too tight to close the door. This is immigration enforcement. Oh, they've just seen the camera. God damn it. Sorry? What's up? What's up, bro? Remember me? It's called me Mr. Murphy over there. Yes. How are you? I'm all right. Keep it up the fuck, bro. Cool. Anyway. No, don't, don't. Hey, officer. He's assaulted me. Nah, I just touched my camera. Nah, don't. No, nah, mate. Don't. Don't. Fucking take your hand off me, bro. Don't touch the camera, man. Nobody touched you. But fuck up, bro. Come the fuck up, man. Listen, There's yourself. grease all over my Calm camera. Yourself. Where's there now? Calm I offered you a meatball, Charlie. Calm I'll clean it, viewers, in a second. Hey, man, how are you doing, John? You okay? So, uh, are you okay, bro? You okay? Very well. I know you remember me. I remember you. Eight million bits out of me, Nice one. Nah, no royalties for you, bro. No, no royalties for you, bro. Okay, I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> my God, they, they really dislike me. There's something about getting caught on my video doing really bad things that makes men upset. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Hello, Audi R8. Looks good in blue. Well, guys, that's it from central Manchester today. Operation Vulcan took, in the very short time I was there, a knife off the streets. Now, I call that a success.